Hi, my name is Jagor Dugos and you're currently watching the second part of my trip to Iceland. After visiting Floyd Nature Reserve, we went up west to the upmost western point of Iceland, Latiabjarg Cliffs, to photograph puffins. If you wanna see what we got, keep watching. In Latiabjarg there are 2 million pairs of birds nesting, which is a huge number. 75% of Icelandic razor bills nest here. A lot of Brunswick guillemots as well as common guillemots. But we are all here for the puffins. So there are just over there where those people are. One just landed over here. Amazing. They're just by the car park. Yesterday I was here scouting and I walked four kilometers up this cliff, but didn't see, I saw ten puffins. So I was thinking, what's wrong? And I finally realized they are just here by the by the car park. Although it's extremely windy, I will try to get close to this puffin and show you guys how cute they are. his backside towards me so I need to wait for him to turn around so at least they are not running away you just need to wait for them to get up and pose for you Although I'm using my 400 to 8, you don't need that kind of lens. You can shoot them even at 100 millimeters or include some wider angles with your phone. But I'm gonna try to get some really nice portraits. So I'm using 400 with 1.4 internal converter and we'll see if I can get close to him. I'm going low to flatten the perspective. He's still a bit lower than I am, but I will try to get even low, the, the slowest I can get. Right now I'm trying to get the blue background of the sea and soon I will switch the puffin because there's plenty a lot. They are just coming back from the ocean. It's 8 p.m. and they're starting to come back. So it's worth to notice. You need to be here in the late afternoon or in the even evening. The best time is probably about 9 p.m to be here because that's when they come back so right now blue background later on green background let's start with this okay the idea now there's getting a lot of people so Frontlet shots are getting overcrowded. I'm gonna shoot back, go through some backlight, and I will try to get the bird out of focus, and I will try to put the bird in front of me, focus someone where like 30 meters. 
behind the bird in front of the ocean to get the head of the bird inside of the little sparkles, little bokeballs and we will see if I get something. To achieve the effect I wanted I had to shoot into the extremely strong light that you see right now on the screen. I shot straight into the bright spot to get the bokeballs reflected of the water. Then it was just a matter of a little bit of movement to p position myself correctly into the with the puffing head against the bright spots and against the waves. So that's what I got. Just standing here behind me. I'm gonna put in my 100 to 400 now to maybe because I'm clipping them with the 400 to 8. I'm gonna put on the 100 to 400 and see what I can get with that lens. It's just so amazing. They're coming really close. I didn't plan it, but I will use my wide-angle lens that I'm vlogging on to get the shots showing the environment that they live in. So I will try to get some BTS of that, but I don't know how it will work. I came here to the upper cliffs, but I think in the lower cliffs I will get a better chance. So I got some two or three nice wide angle shots and now coming back down to get nice close ups. amazing day here in Latvia Bjarg. I get that this vlog was pretty chaotic but everything was going on so fast and I didn't manage to grab a lot of shots but hope you enjoyed at least the photography because I sure did and amazing place hope to come back in here one day thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and see you soon